I make any type of container, I usually, while picking the plants, I usually look for three things. Um, you want something that's going to kind of hang down the front of the container if it's something that's taller. Um, if you have a shorter container, maybe just something that's just going to come out just a little bit and not get real long. That might be something that you're going to go for. But because I'm using a taller container, I wanted something that's going to hang down. I want something that's going to get a little bit bushy and I want something that's going to get a little tall. And I always try to mix and match colors and textures. Um, so I chose this little guy because he's going to get nice and tall. And this is going to stay bushy and it's just got a really neat leaf to it. So that's what I look for when I go to pick out my plants. And then I just fill a little bit of soil on the bottom and uh, kind of pull out of the pot and plop it in. And you don't really have to worry about being all too careful because plants are pretty tough. So, that guy's in there pretty good. Just kind of position them where you think they will look nice. Um, if you're doing a kind of like an annual container that's going to be outside for a long time and they grow fast, you might not want to put the plants as close together as I am here, but these are all house plants. Even though it will live a long time, it's not going to be outside. It's not, they don't grow very fast. So this is okay. All of these need a, just not a lot of light, which is also something you need to pay attention to when picking out plants. So after you've plopped them in there, I always fill in with a little bit more soil around. And if it's something where you can actually see a lot of the soil, sometimes we'll take a little moss and tuck it around there also. But I think this guy is going to be okay because he's filled in pretty well. There you go. That was easy, right?